One of the most common problems we hear when it comes to a vacuum gauge not working properly is oil contamination. In this video we will show you a couple different ways to check your sensor or your vacuum gauge for any oil. For this video we are using a 69086 sensor. You can check your 69080 vacuum gauge the same way. We can first do a visual inspection of the gasket and the depressor. First look at the gasket for any obvious signs of oil. The gasket will appear wet or shiny. If so, there's oil contamination. Next you can take a pair of needle nose pliers and remove the depressor. You can then take the depressor and wipe it against the back of your hand looking for oil. Again, it will appear wet or shiny. If so, there's oil contamination. If there's no obvious signs of oil on the gasket or the depressor, you can take a 9 16 and a 3 quarter inch wrench and remove the fitting from the bottom of the sensor. You can look into the sensor for any signs of oil in the sensor body. It will again appear wet or shiny. If so, there's oil contamination. The last thing that you can do is you can hook your vacuum gauge up directly to your vacuum pump. Most pumps will easily pull 50 micron. If you're getting a high micron reading on your vacuum gauge, your sensor is contaminated with oil. We have a manifold tree on our pump so that we can run our certified test gauge against the vacuum gauge that has oil contamination in the sensor for a comparison. As you can see, our test gauge is easily under 50 microns, whereas our contaminated gauge is still in the 400. If you have determined there is oil contamination, watch our tech tip video on cleaning your vacuum gauge or your vacuum gauge sensor. Thank you for watching this Yellow Jacket technical tip video. If there are any other tech tip videos you would like to see, post them on our ideas page at www.yellowjacketuniversity.com.